and welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be all the stuff that I bought at IMAX. I let you know that I was going to be in New York in my previous video and I let you know that I was going to IMAX and shopping and all that jazz and I spent so much money. <sighs> but it's okay because I got a lot of makeup. So we're going to go ahead and just dig into this huge bag because there's really no other way to do it. So the first place I went to was Inglot and I was really intrigued with their products because I've heard a lot about them but never used them personally. So I got some stuff to try out and hopefully I'm going to be using it in a video here pretty soon. So the two things that I got were a white eyeliner and it's just a gel eyeliner and then this really pretty pigment. If I can get it open. It's got like a champagne iridescence to it and it's so freaking pretty. So I've been wanting to try out Stelazi eyeshadows for forever. So they had a booth that had a lot of different products, but they did carry Stelazi products there. So I got some of their panned eyeshadows. Oh, and Inglot gave me a little free pan eyeshadow. It's like this little yellow color. So yeah. I got a mixture of mattes and shimmers. So the two shimmers I got, one's like a taupey color and then the other one is like a white shimmer and I swatched these. Oh my gosh, they're so pretty. I can't wait to use them. And then I got a lot of matte transition shades. So I got kind of, uh, I don't know how to explain it. It's like a espresso, like ashy color. And then I got this nice neutral taupe and then I got a uh, medium reddish brown color then I got a bright orange and a bright yellow and then I just got a plain matte white shade so I'm super excited to use these for a look we're gonna be seeing so many makeup tutorials here pretty soon because it's killing me because I have not used any of this and it was Sunday that I had eye mats and I haven't used any of this because I wanted to do this video and I'm like no it all needs to stay in the package but Anyway, so I also went to Sugar Pill. I've been wanting to try out their eyeshadows for forever. My friend loves their matte red eyeshadow. And if you know me, I love my red colors. Anything in that family, I'm all over that. So obviously I had to go get some. And I got their big eyeshadow in love. And this is the matte red she was talking about. And then the other one I got was this orange one. Let me just pop her open. And this one is a little brighter and like more intense of an orange than this one. So this one's like a softer one. So went in for that one and this one is in Flame Point. So I kind of got a little bit of everything from everywhere. I didn't get a mass amount from like one particular place because I did want to try out a lot of brands that I hadn't been able to. Um, just because when it comes to ordering, I'm like, eh, because I don't know what the products are going to be like and then shipping and everything. It's like I'm cool with spending like $50, but that $6 shipping just... I don't know. It's It makes me second guess. I'm like, do I really want to pay $6 for shipping? So that's why I tried out all these products. So I know that I like them whenever I wanted to order other products from that company. So that's all I got from Sugar Pill. I also went to Lime Crime because it has been killing me. I've been wanting to try out their liquid lipsticks for forever. And I got their liquid lipstick in Wicked in Sasha and in Teddy Bear. And I have tried out Sasha and Teddy Bear because I could not wait any longer. And I love these colors. Like, I'm not a huge pink person. I like more of, like, a mauve or, like, more taupe undertone to my pinks because I just, personally, pinks don't look very good on me because I'm so pale. It just washes me out and makes me look really strange. I just, mm -mm. Teddy Bear's kind of, like, a deeper brownish pink. And then this one is kind of a lighter taupey pink. And then this is just a really dark, like, blood red because you guys know I love my blood red lipsticks. Another booth was also selling Ben Nye, and I've been wanting to try out their powder for forever, so I got their colorless one, because their banana one would not show up right on me. I would be way too light for that shade. So I got the colorless one, because since it's colorless, it'll match me perfect. I also went to Juvia's place, and they had all of their palettes there. I kind of wish I would have gotten more, but I just got one, because I, like I said, I want to try out a lot of products from different places. I got the Masquerade one, and oh, it is so beautiful. I love it so much. I cannot wait to use this. This will definitely be showing up in a video here pretty soon. 
And also they were giving out free little pan eyeshadows. So I got the color Lala and this is just one of their eyeshadows and it's like the full size eyeshadow and it just came free with my stuff. So obviously because I got so many pan eyeshadows, I did not have a Z palette yet. So Z palette was there and I got me a big Z palette so I can put all my eyeshadows in there. Another liquid lipstick that I've been wanting to try out forever is the Dose of Colors one. You know, I was trying to wait but I couldn't because I knew it would go really well with this look. So I just pulled it out anyway and wore it. But anyway, it is in Chocolate Wasted and my other one is in Desert Suede. So this one's like a really dark, like really dark brown. And then this one's in kind of like a medium brown range. I don't know. I love me some browns and some dark reds. So that's a lot of the liquid lipsticks I got. So my apologies in advance. Another place I went to was Violet Voss. That was like one of the last booths that I went to. So a lot of their products were gone, but the ones that were there are ones I wanted to try out anyway. So I went ahead and got some glitter products and they had like five for 30, I think for their glitters, which is a pretty good deal considering the fact that they're $9 individually. So I got their glitter in Elsa, in Marley, and then Lily, Copperella and Sandy. So let me go ahead and just open them up for you. So this is Sandy. This one is Marley and it's like a dark almost bronzy brown but it's got a slight red tone to it. This is Lily and it's a nice like pastel type pink with a little bit of an iridescence to it to give it kind of an opal tone. This is Elsa which is like a soft blue but it also has an opal iridescence to it so it'll give it more of a blue almost like sea foam color and I am so excited to use this for a look. Oh my gosh. And the last one I got is Copperella which obviously is a copper tone and it's got like a orangish red tint to it. So you'll be seeing a lot more glitter looks here coming up because I just got like six different glitters and I've already been on a glitter craze and I didn't even have that many. So hopefully you like glitter. So the last thing I got from Violet Voss was their The Perfect Weapon like silicone thing. I've seen these all over social media and I was like, you know what? It's like nine bucks. I'm going to go ahead and get it. So I did. So funny story, I actually dropped my foundation brush on the hotel floor and that is disgusting. I was not about to use that on my face after that. And it was the day after I met and I was like, I have no other brushes. That was like my one brush for foundation because obviously if you're flying on a plane, you're not going to bring your entire makeup kit, which I mean my entire carry-on was makeup, but that's beside the point. Anyway, so I only had one foundation brush with me. I was like, I need to use something to put on my foundation because I'm like, I have to wear foundation. I don't have anything else with me. So I went ahead and tried to use this thing. I need to read up a little bit more on how to use it. It took me like 10 minutes to get my foundation on. I will, when they say use less product with this, they are dead serious. I way too much product. So I've been wanting to try out Jordan Cosmetics brushes for a long time and they had a booth there so I went ahead and picked some up. So I got a small little eyeliner brush. Then I got two different sizes of pencil brushes. One's a little bit bigger than the other one. Then I got a little blending brush and I got this one because this one doesn't pick up quite as much product and I wanted something like this for my kit for a while. Then I got two little detailing brushes. One's more of a smudging brush and then the other one is more of a small concealer brush. So I went ahead and got some brushes from Moda. They had a couple different brands there but they were all like together the same like you paid the same way. So I think they all like partnered together and they're all own the same. But anyway, I got brushes from Moda and this one's a nice little setting brush and then this one's a contour brush and they just look kind of funny and I wanted to try them because why not? Um, another thing that I got is a brush kit from them. I have a brush kit already from BH Cosmetics, but this one had more variety of brushes in it. It has a nice powder brush, like a big powder brush. I've been wanting to get a couple more of those because I do have some, but I use them for bronzer and then you can't use them for powder. So this one I'm like planning on designating this for my powder brush. It also has a bronzer brush, a complexion brush, a smudger, a medium eyeshader brush, which is like a little pencil brush, and then they have a small eyeshader brush, which is kind of a smudging brush, and then they have a crease brush, a pencil liner, they have an angled liner, and they have a lip liner. 
So they have all sorts of different brushes in here. And I do have a couple styles of these brushes, but I've been wanting more. And they had a deal going on. It was a deal for 10 brushes with the case. It was like $30 and they're really good brushes from a good company. And I was like, you know what? I'm going to go ahead and try these out. Why not? I need more brushes like this anyways. So it was like one of the last minute things I got. I was like, Psha, let's just get it anyway. So by far the biggest line that I stood in the entire time I was there was Morphe. It was a pretty dang big space that they had eye mats in and it was on one of the piers in New York and they had Morphe in the back area of it. It was shaped like a T, so you enter down here and it was a T at the bottom, and then it had this long strand of different booths at the top. So Morphe was like in the back corner, and I kid you not, the line spread down all the way down the side of that. Like, I'm not talking that it might be a, a couple, like, couple booths along there. That was like a ridiculous, that was like a 200 people line. It was ridiculous. Like, they had people. They, it was so big to the point where they wouldn't let you get in line because that's how many people were in line. Like, it stretched all the way down the side of the building. It was insane. So, that was by far the longest line that I stood in, but I definitely had to stand in that line because Morphe's amazing. So, after standing in line for an hour, this is what I got. So, starting out with the brushes I got, I got the M501, and I've been wanting to open this one for so long. Ever since I got this brush, I've wanted to use it. And I'm like, no, it has to be clean for the video. Otherwise, that's going to look so gross whenever you're showing the makeup. So I did it for you guys. I waited, but I'm using it tomorrow. Then I got the E8, and this is like a little contouring brush. I I don't know. I wanted something kind of like this for a minute, and I was like, eh, why not? It's there. Then I got a baby blending brush, and this one's the M562. And I really like these tiny little blending brushes for my outer V area if I want to do like a really smoky look, and I'm using black or something really dark. These are perfect for that. I kind of wish I would have gotten more but I can always order more. And then I got a bigger version of the M501, which is this little highlighting brush here, and this is called the M438. So many numbers, so many. Then I got this brush here, and I've been wanting something like this for blush for a minute because it's not as densely packed, and it does it really lightly on your face. So I went ahead and got it, and this is the M427. Then I got the M573, which is like a tapered blending brush. Then I got a little detailing concealer brush, and this one is M421. Then I got a flat eyeliner brush, and this is E43. And I got another blending brush, because why not? But this one is the M330. And then I got another blending brush, and this is the M518. Then I got two little detailing concealer brushes, and these are the M416. Then I also got this tiny little, like, baby pencil fluffy brush. It's not exactly a pencil brush and it's not exactly a fluffy brush. It's like in between and I figured this would be perfect for doing like really detailed smoky eyes and this one is the E36. Then I got the flat eyeliner brush and I'm actually planning on using this for my eyebrows and this is the M432 and then I got another concealer brush because you can never have too many concealer brushes because mine are all dirty right now and I just cleaned my brushes like last week. I don't understand how this happens, but it always does. So I got another concealer brush, and this one is the M425. So that is all the brushes that I got from Morphe. Then I went ahead and got two of their palettes because I was there, and why not? I've been wanting to try these out forever. And this one is the 35OS palette, and then the 35F palette. And then the 35OS palette been all over social media so you've probably seen it but I'm gonna go ahead and open it anyway and I've refrained from using it so you're welcome but these are all the eyeshadows in the palette they are all shimmer eyeshadows and you guys know I love my matte eyeshadows but I have definitely needed some more shimmery eyeshadows in my variety so I went ahead and got the shimmery one then here is the 35 F palette this one is a mix of matte and shimmer eyeshadows and these are absolutely beautiful I swatched some of them not on this palette, but at the show, and that is everything that I got at IMAT. 
Oh, one more thing. I did not get this at IMATS, but I got this at the MAC Times Square store. So I went ahead and got another MAC Pro Longwear paint pot, and this is in soft ochre, like I always use, because mine's running low. Then I got my Studio Fix Fluid Foundation, and this is in N4, which is like vampire white, and I was so excited about it. Then I also got another concealer, and this is the MAC Pro Longwear, and this is in NW15. It's the same shade I already have, but I'm almost out of that one. So that is everything I got makeup wise while I was in New York and I know it's a lot. I got a lot of unpackaging to do. Probably take me an hour to get everything out of the packaging but you know it is okay. Obviously I'm going to have a lot more makeup looks coming your way because I have a ton more products to play with now and a lot of variety. IMATS was an incredible experience and I hope to go back next year. It was so much fun. I got to meet actually one of the people I follow on Instagram and she is awesome. If you don't follow her, you should go follow her. I will have her Instagram name in the description box down below. I have a picture with her on my Instagram. I'm going to go ahead and get that up. This is the picture that I have on Instagram with her. Her name is Dre and... I'll go ahead and just show you her page. I will definitely have the name of it in the description box down below so you can go follow her. But she is amazing. So it was really awesome to get a chance to meet her in person. She's actually who inspired my green hair that I had before. If you have not seen that, go check out my previous videos because I do have several videos up with my green hair and same haircut that she has. So it was it was just a really cool experience. It was a lot of fun. I got to try a lot of different brands that I have not gotten the opportunity to before. And I'm just excited to play with everything that I have and bring you all new content. So make sure you stay tuned to my future videos. So make sure to hit the subscribe button so you can do that easily and hit the little bell notification thing next to it. And that will send you notifications every time I post a video through email or through like a notification on your phone. So make sure you hit that subscribe button and then also follow me on all of my social media. I have two different Instagrams. I have a Facebook, a Snapchat, and a Pinterest. All of the names and links to everything will be in the description box down below. So make sure you go check all of that out. Um, I'm definitely way more active on Instagram than I am on any other social media. So if you really want to stay up to date with me, that's a great way to do it. But anyway, that is it for this video. I will stop talking your ear off. I will see you guys next time. Bye.